Have you ever wished you could customize your Google Calendar with new fields? Maybe you need a place for internal notes that aren't visible to the people that are invited to that calendar event. Or maybe you just need somewhere to track some additional details about that event and they don't really have a place right now. Well, today you're in luck. Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Paver, a Google Workspace add-on that transforms your Google Calendar into the ultimate productivity assistant. And today I'm gonna show you how you can leverage Paver to create custom fields for your Google Calendar. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll wanna do is make sure that you have the Paver Google Calendar add-on installed, which you can do from the Google Workspace Marketplace listing that I've linked below. Then once you have that installed and set up, you are going to navigate to settings from inside of the add-on and we are going to select the calendar that you want to add custom fields to. Once you've selected that calendar, you'll come down here to where it says fields. And as you can see, I already have one set up called internal notes, but to add a field, you're just gonna click on that button. Then you will name your field and save that field. So once you've done that, you are then ready to use those custom fields. So to do that, all you have to do is open a calendar event and you will see here inside of the add-on that the custom field is um, available and accessible. So this is one that I already have um, some internal notes on. Let's just open another one so you can see what it looks like when it's blank. So you will just type your notes in here and click apply and those notes are now going to be um, accessible you can edit them you can add delete whatever you need to do um, all you have to do is make sure that you have paver launched here in your sidebar which you can do by just clicking on that paver icon and opening up a um, event and you will see the custom fields that you have added now, as I mentioned, those custom fields are accessible. All you have to do is open the calendar event that you want to apply those custom fields to. However, that's not the only place it lives. You will also see these when you run reports. So let's go run a report and see where it lives on a spreadsheet. So let's go to create reports inside of the add-on. For uh, this example, I'm going to run an analytics report, but you can also access these from a spreadsheet only report. And by running this analytics report, all we're gonna have to do is select the calendar we want to run the report from, put your start and end dates in, and then hit create report. All right, so here is our report. And at first glance, if you took time to set up categories and labels for your calendar, which is another primary feature of Paver, then you're gonna see some really cool stuff about your calendar events. But today we're here to talk about custom fields. So let's go ahead and click over to the calendar entries tab. And what you're gonna see is that in this spreadsheet view in column M, you are going to see your Paver custom fields. And underneath that, anywhere you added a custom field, uh, those notes will be accessible and viewable from here. Now, one thing that I wanna quickly point out is that you'll see that this currently has whatever the name of that custom field is in this cell as well. So remember my custom field was named internal notes. So this has internal notes, uh, semicolon, and then my, uh, my actual notes that I added. If you do not want it to be prefaced with the name of that custom field, then that is a setting that we can quickly change. Let me show you how to do that. So this is something that you can change from your settings again inside of the add-on just click on settings here and if you look down here where it says include name of values and sales we are just going to toggle that off and hit close make sure that that's updated and then we can refresh that sheet and see that it has changed so back over to our sheet you'll see that you should also have your paver icon here that you can launch from the sidebar we're just going to click refresh data and what you'll see here is that that internal notes preference goes away and it just has that context inside of the box. So if that's not a setting that you want turned on, you can just turn it off quickly inside of the settings. And anytime you change something, uh, you can always come back here and refresh that data. But that is how you create your custom fields for Google Calendar.
So there you have it. Creating custom fields is just one of the many benefits of installing the Paver Google Calendar add-on. And as a way to say thank you for checking out our channel, we'd love to give you 50% off of your first month after your free trial. Just use the code YouTube and you will be able to access all of the wonderful features that come along with the add-on. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for product updates and future productivity tips. Have a great one.